Hello everybody, for tonight's update I'll just show uh, where I, what I've finished so far. I've got two of the um, angle globe valve bodies done and um, they're ready to go. I just finished making two of the straight valve bodies and um, that's there right here. I'll do a quick flip through so you can see that's the side with the um, supply I guess the water coming in. This is the side that's threaded for the control valve. I color coded it with the Sharpie marker just so I wouldn't get confused in the future. The tricky part for these straight valves is machining a 20 degree or a, a 532nd inch drill hole that's at 20 degrees through the body and the, the plans show it very well but just to make sure I didn't mess up I went ahead and put a stripe on my jig to show how I needed to orient the the um, the hole for the drilling. I did this one last. You can see I like to idiot proof my things. I put P for the pipe tap, 5 16 ME for the part that has the control valve, and the uh, have another P over here for the pipe tap, and of course the stripe showing where the where the 20 degree angled hole is going to get milled or drilled rather. Um, I used a 30, 60, 90 and a 10 degree to give me a 70 degree setup so that the machining jig was almost vertical of course at 70 degrees and <clears throat> I could see into the hole. I oriented it first using the drill bit because the drill bit is wider than the end mill. This is a little tip. Use an end mill when drilling at an angle use an end mill to uh, orient, make a nice little flat spot. Um, it's, it's obviously stiffer than the drill bit, shorter, and it's, that's what I did to make a nice starter hole basically, and then follow it up with, uh, with the drill bit. Oh, the second thing I wanted to point out, second little machining tip is, a lot of these call for exact depths, and so I use a feeler gauge, put the feeler gauge on top of the the hole, put the drill bit down, mark my DRO at zero. This is a three thousandths of an inch feeler gauge, so I just add an extra three thousandths when I go ahead and drill it down so I get the right depth. Um, so that here's the little uh, drawing of the various components. I've got two of the straight and two of the angle bodies done now. So next I can make on the lathe the spindle, the bonnet, and a couple of the nuts. They supply little handles with the kit, so um, little knobs rather. I just have to do a little bit of drilling on those. So, Looking forward to having some fun on the lathe in the, uh, the upcoming week. I'll keep you posted. Let me know if there's any questions. Thanks.